Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my midweek blog. And this blog in Holy Week, at the end of our Lenten journey, um, as we await Monday, Thursday, tomorrow, Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Hope you're able to join us in some way, whether that's online or coming to services. Don't forget, if you're coming, make sure that you book in so that we know that you're coming. But um, it's a very different feel this week. The weather's been warm. I know it's getting cold again for Easter, but um, the stay-at-home restrictions ended on Monday, and today the shielding restrictions have ended, and a couple of weeks' time, haircuts. <laughs> Jill challenged me to see how long I'd let my hair go. I mean, it, it, it doesn't look long, but for me, this is, I'm like a hippie. This is, you know. We've been reading um, Matthew's Gospel. Many of us have been reading Matthew's Gospel together through Lent. And um, I wanted to, I couldn't, I, I'd love to read the last chapter with, with all of you. And that's why I decided to do it on my blog, rather than, you know, I couldn't ring all of you today. And so um, I want to read the last chapter of Matthew's Gospel uh, here in church on my blog this week um, as we seek God's blessing on us. Last year we couldn't do this, this year we're here. God's blessing on us in this holy week um, as God's people in this place. So uh, the final chapter of Matthew's Gospel. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised. As he said, come see the place where he lay. Then go and go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said greetings and they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests everything that had happened. After the priests had assembled with the elders, they devised a plan to give a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, you must say, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were, were asleep. If this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed, and this story is still told among the Jews to this day. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. It's been a great journey sharing Matthew with you. It's um, it's a, a an epic gospel, and um, we've encountered uh, difficult teaching. We've encountered uplifting teaching, and in Holy Week, we come to the pivotal story of our faith. A God who loves us so much that he sends his son into our world in human form to live our life, to suffer 
our sufferings, to, to, to encounter everything that we do. And then on the cross to bear all our humanity into himself. And then after three days to rise again. And I really want us to understand that hope. After a year when it's felt at times that it's, the hope has gone and it's dragged on. This is our week of hope that in God these promises of they shall have life and have it to its fullest sense. For God so loved the world, these wonderful lines from John's Gospel. When I am lifted, I will draw all people to myself, said Jesus. These wonderful lines of scripture, this wonderful gospel that we've shared in Matthew. And I want to thank you all for the support that you've given. It's been a difficult year, but we've done it, haven't we? We've done it together. We've either done it online or we've come in person. We've kept our churches open. Thank you again to my church wardens for their hard work and dedication. We've done it together because this story that we share is far too important, far too important for us not to work hard and to care deeply about it. So thank you everybody for all that you've done and sharing the the journey of Lent with me, sharing the Gospel of Matthew with me, sharing our worship together. And now, on this Wednesday, as we prepare for Maundy Thursday, Good Friday and Easter Sunday, let's just bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, you showed us love that we could never encounter in our humanity. You showed us salvation far beyond our wildest dreams. You showed us new life, which has brought such great hope to our human story. So bless each one of us, Lord, now as we prepare to celebrate the great festival of Easter, from sharing bread together, from sitting at the foot of the cross together, to celebrate a new life together. Bless our three church communities, St. James, St. Peter's and St. Mary's. And help us, Lord, to be your people, full of life, full of hope, full of peace. Amen. Next week, I'm going to take a few days off, so no, no blog or vlog for next week. And then all back to it the week after that. So bless you all, bless you all. Hope to see you all at some point. And if I won't see you, then let's hope that we can speak on the phone very soon. Thanks ever so much for journeying through Lent with me. I look forward to all that happens in the next few days and all that we share together. Amen. <laughs>